Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how can we validate length of a field in ServiceNow. This is required where you want to ensure there is at least something valid written in a field. For example, in the short description. If the short description is less than 10, it is highly unlikely that something useful is written in there. So we will validate that on the form itself. For that, we'll be using a client script. If you are not aware about client scripts, please click on the top right corner where I have explained everything about client scripts. Now to validate the length of a field, we will be using on submit type of client script. And the use case would be when the user is trying to submit the form, we will ensure the short description is greater than 10 or the length of that short description is greater than 10. Let's quickly jump to service now to see that. We are in service now, we'll go to any list of incident. We'll right click on any of the header and configure client scripts and we will write a new client script altogether and I'll explain you line by line this short piece of code so that you understand it. I will name the client script as validate length and maybe short description and then we have to write it on table incident UI type can be all portal or desktop we'll select all and the type would be on submit and here I will first of all pick up the value of the short description which user is trying to submit and I'll store that in a variable and I can name variable maybe short underscore dsc and then g underscore form dot get value this is a class g underscore form and there is a function get value which will get the value of that short description and in this we have to pass the backend name of the field and the backend name of this field is short underscore description. We'll convert it into string as well. And then in the next line, I'll declare a variable called len, which signifies the length of this short description. And I will use short underscore dsc dot length, which will return the length of that short description. And here I will check in the if loop if length is less than 10, we will say alert, please enter more than 10 characters in the short description. And then we will return false. Return false will ensure that the form is not submitted and the error is thrown as well. And in the else, we can maybe print the length of the short description or show the length of the short description field. And I can say length characters entered by user. So it will say 10 characters entered by user if there are 10 or more. I'll submit this. In a real case scenario, you don't have to put an else condition because it will be just valid. I'll go to incident and under create new, I'll try to create a new incident. I will give the mandatory field of caller and then I will try to for example enter only 9 characters and submit this and it says please enter more than 10 characters in the short description. I will say ok I will do that and then I can maybe say this and I will try to save it again 15 characters entered by user and it will not stop the form submission and it will create a new form but in the last case it actually stopped me from submitting that incident because the length of that short description was less than 10. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please let me know in comments if you have any questions. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel.